Hey guys, The Simple Student here. Welcome to the channel. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to draw a circle inside a J-frame. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to make a J-panel and we're going to draw a circle inside this and then we're going to add this panel into our J-frame. Okay, let's get right into it. So to begin with, we're going to import a few classes. So we're going to say import Java X dot swing dot J frame. This is the first thing we need to import. Semicolon. The next one we need is Java X swing dot J frame. So dot J panel, sorry. So we're just going to copy and paste this on panel. Then we need two more classes to import and these are going to be the graphics and the color. Okay, so we're going to import java.awt.graphics and then one more wt.color. Okay, so that's it. What we've done here is we've made a class called circle but this class is going to have to extend jetpanel. And basically what this does is whenever we make an object of this class, it basically just makes it into a jpanel. Okay, so now inside this we're going to use the graphics class. So we're just going to say public void paint. So we're making a method and as an argument we're going to say graphics G. Okay. Okay, so next what we have to do is we're going to set the size of this J panel. So we're just going to say set size and we're just going to make it 500 by 500. Okay, so this first coordinate is basically the width of the J panel and the second one is the height, the X and the Y coordinates. Okay, so we've set the size. Okay, so now because we've put this graphics here as an argument, we're able to use any methods from this graphics class. So we're going to say G dot draw and as you can see there's loads of different things here we can use but we're going to use draw oval like this and this x is basically just the x coordinate where the upper left corner of the oval is going to start so we're just going to say 100 across and 100 from the top of the j panel and width and height we're just going to put 50 by 50 so that it will draw a circle okay now that's all we're going to do inside this method for the minute, okay? We're going to go right on ahead into our main class, our main method now, and create our JFrame. So, as usual, we're going to say public static void main string. Alright. Args. Okay. Now. Okay, no. so I'll just delete that. Okay, so now, inside the main method, what we're going to do, we're going to make our JFrame. So we're going to say JFrame, and then we're going to give it a name. We're just going to call it mainframe. Oops. Mainframe. We're just going to say equals new J. So we're basically making an object of the JFrame class, like that. Okay. Next, we're just going to set the size of the J frame. So we're going to say main frame, the same as we did with the panel up above, dot set size. And this kind of has to be a bit bigger than the J panel, so the J panel fits inside it. So we're just going to say 600 by 600. Okay. Now we're going to make a new object of the circle class that we made up here, because that will make a J panel. So to do that, we're just going to say circle. And then name it, uh, we'll just say circle panel equals new circle. Okay, and that's that. And now we can just add this panel into our J frame. And to do this, it's very easy. We just have to say main frame dot add. And then inside this, no, oh, that's wrong. <laughs> main frame dot add. And then inside this, we just need to put the name of our panel. So we're just going to say circle panel. Okay. 
No, I forgot an error here. So that's what that error is. Okay, so now the last thing we have to do is set the main frame visible. So we're just going to say main frame dot set visible and just put true inside this as an argument. So that will just mean we're able to see the main frame. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. So run. Okay, yeah, so we've got our J frame here. This is this whole thing. And inside this we have a J panel. And then this J panel would run a circle. Okay, so there's just one more thing I'm going to show you how to do. And that is just add a bit of colour or fill the circle. So we're going to say G dot fill oval. And if we put these to the exact same size as the oval and the exact same coordinates, then it should just fill it up with colour. Okay, but before we do that, before this, we have to set a colour to the graphics class. So we're going to say g dot set colour and we're just going to say colour dot we'll pick any colour, so we'll just put it green. Okay, and run this again. Yeah, so that's that. It's, draw, it's drawn a circle and it's filled in with green inside this J-frame. The last thing I'm going to show you is just messing about with some of these other methods inside the graphics class. So we're just going to say g dot draw rectangle and we're just going to make it coordinates 30 by 30 and width I'm just going to say 50 and height is just going to be 10. Okay. Yeah, so it's just drawn this. Again, because we never changed the colour, it's still going to be green. I'll just change that colour to show you. Um, G dot set colour. And we'll just say colour dot blue. So now it should be drawn the rectangle in blue. Yeah, okay. I'll let you mess it up with some of them other methods yourselves. And it's actually pretty fun to see what you can do with this. It's quite easy to actually make some interfaces for some simple 2D games. So, thanks for watching. This has been The Simple Student. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.